Hi everyone, it's a very sunny Thursday the 12th of March here in my part of Oz and I just thought I'd do a quick whip update. Uh, I've been a very monogamous stitcher in the last two weeks. Uh, I've only stitched on Mother's List, so I thought I'd just show you my progress on her. I may go to Love is Brilliant next week, so I thought I'd just catch up while I can. Um, my phone. This is what she looked like last time you saw her. And now she has a head and I've started on the baby's dress. I loved doing the flowers and whatnot in her hair. And it made a very good break from the big blocks of colour. Um, the yellow of the baby's dress, which is 3078, has taken me three days, and her arms took me six days. I was shocked because that was about at least one or two hours a day of stitching, and it's just the amount of stitches in those parts of the pattern. Um, so yeah, that I backstitched her head because I thought I'd do it as I go, otherwise I'll have to unravel it completely to catch up with all the backstitching and that would drive me crazy. Um, but yeah, she's looking great. Um, another couple of things I thought I'd touch on is I know Stitching May brought up in her January update about people being worried about starting their own videos and worried that no one would watch. And I know that's exactly the same thoughts that went through my head when I started. Uh, thought, yeah, no one's going to listen to me, but I have been very surprised to find that I have gone up over 100 subscribers already. I know the other day I checked, I'm pretty sure I was 105. So that is absolutely wonderful and just crazy to think about. But I know everyone loves watching everyone's progress and getting to know them uh, here on FlossTube or on Facebook, Instagram. I know I send my Instagram updates to Twitter even though I'm not very um, busy on there, but I know there's people on there that do check up on my progress, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's just having that outlet to, um, because we do have a very solitary um, craft and hobby, so it's great to reach out and get to know others from their own lounge rooms. Very comfortable. Um, and it's wonderful to see everyone's likes and comments on your own and also to read through others' comments on other people's videos uh, and join in the conversation. Um, yeah, it's uh, just also the hangouts are an absolute hoot to join into and listen to if you get a chance. I know I haven't been on there for ages, but it's been great uh, just getting to know everyone and listen to everyone's conversations. You get to know a lot of different sides to them that you wouldn't have known just from a photo of their project. And also another thing I'd like to touch on is I went to my local needlework store the other day um, grabbing a few things uh, for pen pals and also I thought of course I'd grab some more needles while I was there. And I ended up getting Birch Magic Needles and I thought they'd be great. They look great and they are for threading. Um, for people that have trouble threading the normal needles, they would be wonderful. But the trouble I found with them is they're really easy to come undone. Because they don't have to slide right to the end of the thread, they just come off sideways. <sighs> uh, you'd be pulling through the fabric and just stitching as normal and 
it is slide out and you'd have to flip your project over, re-thread and keep going. And also, I, I do have one here, but I don't know that it'll show up real easy. Um, where it hooks in, where you thread it through to the eye of the needle, will hook on anything. It will hook on threads on the back and pull them through. It will hook on the other crosses and pull them off or pull just one part of the thread crazy and you've got to either undo the whole lot and frog it and redo it to get them sitting properly again or just try to fix them up as you go along. So for that they were a pain in the neck. And I quickly went and bought some other ones that didn't thread like that, just for my own sanity. But yeah, for the um, for the ones that do have trouble with the threading, that would be great. I did work out some ways of getting it to work for me, but it was distressful. And the last thing we need crusties to be is stressful. So that was my little rant and my little vent on needles. <laughs> um, I just thought I would mention that for others if they've thought of getting them or if they have them and they have the same problem. Um, it's not just you, it's the needle. Uh, so yeah, I love catching up on everyone's videos, slowly getting there. Um, and I guess I will, I'll see how I go. I may update at the end of the month again. I'll just see because as we know, some weeks you can stitch like crazy and some weeks, yeah, you know it's a gift that it's a hobby. <laughs> um, so I'll just see how I go. But it's great seeing everyone on the boards and on here still stitching away like crazy. I know a few have had weekends away with other ladies for just stitching and that would be absolutely wonderful and that's a goal of mine when all my kids are a little older but at the moment they're not really ready to be left with anyone and say mum's going off for the weekend. That's not really fair at anyone. <laughs> but um yeah, I will see how I go with that. But it's great seeing everyone's photos. And yeah, uh, I guess that's it from me this week. And I will see you next time. Bye.